Welcome back. This is Ink, and in today's problem, we want to determine the average and the RMS voltage of the periodic triangular waveform. So we can list our equation for a line. And this the change in y is equal to the slope times the change in x. So x is going to be our time, and y is going to be our voltage. We're going to use the initial variables, so the initial time or the initial volt, and we'll keep the final voltage or final time as either V of T or T for time. So let's just write that down, and it's going to be voltage, slope times the variable T, and that's going to be seconds. So from zero to two seconds, our initial voltage is zero volts, our initial time is zero time. So thus our slope is going to be two, four divided by two, rise of a run. So we have V of T is equal to a slope of two times T. From two to four, now our, and let's just write that out. So V of T our initial voltage, we're at this point now, so our initial voltage is now 4 volts. Our slope is going to be negative 2. And our final variable is going to be T. And our initial time is going to be 2 seconds. So thus, V of T is equal to negative 2T plus eight, and that is for two to four seconds. So now that we have our equation for our positive side of the ramp and the negative side of the ramp, we can then go ahead and integrate to get our average voltage. So our average voltage in this case is going to be two volts. And let me check my calculations again, just to make sure. I don't really want to go through that calculation because pretty fairly easy. So our average voltage is equal to two volts. Now, the one that I really want to go through is the RMS voltage. So the RMS voltage is equal to the root mean square there's 1 over t. Our period actually is from 0 to 4, and it repeats 0 to 4. So our period is 4 seconds. And then we can go ahead and integrate from 0 to 2. And here we're going to square our function dt. We also want to square our expression, which when square, well, let's not square it out now. D2. And there it is. So, if we should extract the 1 over t, and that's 1 over 4, so we then get 1 over 2 outside. If we take the, if we integrate our first, so if we integrate two times t squared, we then get, if we integrate and then evaluate it at two and evaluate it at zero and minus zero from two, we end up with 32, 32 over three. And we then, integrate, well, first we square, we end up with a trinomial. We then go ahead and evaluate that at four, sub minus evaluation of two, then we end up with, so at four, the evaluation of um, our trinomial at four is going to equal to two, 56 over three, minus, 24 over 3. 
So the reason why I wanted to do this, I would just put it in the calculator and get the answer. Um, the reason why I want to do this is because there comes, after we simplify this, we see an identity, I call it an identity for a triangular periodic waveform. And we simplify that, that goes to 64 divided by three. to the one half or to the half if you want to say it like that so then evaluate that we still have our half and then we see that we have eight on top and square root of three just divided by that or eight divided by two you get four so here we see that we have four over the square root of three. And this is why I really wanted to do this by hand. Four is actually the max of our triangular waveform. So in essence, this here, the RMS of a periodic triangular waveform is Vm, the max divided by the square root of three, which when evaluate that, it goes to 2.31, 2.31 volt, which is a little bit larger. Well, I wouldn't say a little bit larger, but somewhat close to the average voltage. So that is it for this problem. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.